folks thank you for visiting rock hard riffs once again we're going to go over how to dial in your amp now this is really a very subjective uh, topic that we do this is really you know it's really personal taste kind of thing but <clears throat> there are kind of some tips to, to help get started now generally what we want to do I have mine dialed in as you can see this this is an orange crush 35 RT by the way that we're looking at this thing tends to be a little throaty, uh, so I like to put a bit of uh, more treble in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start at noon at all of these. I'm hoping and praying you can see those dots on there. But uh, what I have is the, tr the uh, treble at about 1 o'clock, the mid-range at noon, and I've got the bass at about 1.30. Uh, and that is, uh, that's trying to dial in for the microphone for this camera because it sounds different than it does otherwise. So, and I've got the volume down, this thing tends, the camera here tends to clip a bit too, the, the, the amp blows the microphone out in other words, so I'm trying to dial in all this stuff as we go, as my channel goes along, so. Hey, and if you guys get anything out of this, if you enjoy this, uh, please subscribe, really need subscribers to help me keep going along here, so I hope you guys enjoy this, I hope you get something out of it. Now, let's go ahead and listen to this. This is in the clean channel on the uh, bridge pickup, and this is an ESP E2 uh, Mystique guitar humbucker. And here's both pickups together. Now let's go ahead and put everything at noon, okay? And so this is a good starting point. Now what we want to do with this is think plus and minus. So once we have everything at noon, we can think, okay, I want less treble from that noon position, or I want more. So that's a good starting point. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to do this uh, more on the dirty channel, because I'm more of a hard rocker. This is more of a tone that I'd be dealing with at one time. Yeah, this does have two channels, but right now let's just dial in that hard rock, that hard rock tone. So let's start again, start with the uh, bridge pickup, see how that sounds. Let's do a little song so you can catch more of it. Little Santana for you. Let's go ahead and uh, let's just bottom out the bass in the middle. Now this is just uh, noon on the treble. Now let's add some mid-range. Let's go up to 12 o'clock. Sounding good, just a little hollow. Throw in some bass. Oh yeah, there we go. For me, not quite enough bass. I like a little more. Again, I'm going to put that at about 130. Yeah, that's the sound I'm looking for. That sounds just a tiny bit muffled to me, so I'm going to throw in, again, some more treble, so I'm just basically going right back to where I was. Okay, let's hear a little bit of that song again, see if you can hear the difference. More trouble, see what that does. That's 100% trouble. Okay, now let's throw in some more mid range. 
Let's just dime the thing out. How about that? Let's go all the way. Why not on all? everywhere around there I'm having trouble finding a bad spot now let's go back to the to the noons and uh, let's go to clean okay so we're gonna clean now I'm on the bridge pickup again get rid of a little of that volume okay definitely need some more treble there let's go to both pickups Ooh, little attitude in there. Okay, that's that's sounding all right. Uh, let's try my other setting where I had it uh, the bass up, and I bet that's going to muffle it a little bit. I probably don't want it there in the clean. No, I don't. I want that back there. So the kind of thing is why I have this amp behind it which is a Marshall JVM 410 is this thing has four channels and three different settings on each channel you want to talk about getting dialed in woohoo uh, so but you know you do with what you've got and that's this little orange amp my Marshall is down right now by the way it's not working or we'd be using that so but again let's just go over the basics of how to dial things in Start at noon with your treble, mid-range, and bass, everything, and then just adjust your tasting. It's like salt and peppering your food. It's identical. Me, personally, again, if you can see the little white dot there, I like my treble at about 1 o'clock. I keep the mid-range at about noon, and I throw the bass in at about 1.30. Uh, as far as the gain goes, uh, I usually have it at about 2 o'clock, right about, yeah, about 2 o'clock, right in there. Uh, it gives me a good hard edge, but still nice and creamy, not crackly and fuzzy. Uh, and then the reverb I keep, this is a spring reverb by the way, I keep that at about halfway, about 12 o'clock too. So that's how I dial mine in. Now uh, guys, if you're new to this channel, take a look at all my other videos. I do a lot of videos with this amplifier. And I'm about to do a hard rock demo with this amp and my ESP guitar, it's coming soon. And I'm going to be doing a Fender Jimi Hendrix Stratocaster demo with this amp as well. That'll be coming up somewhat soon as well. So, if you guys got anything out of this, again, please uh, subscribe, like, comment, share, etc. Just remember, again, start at noon and work your way around it. Work down to subtract if you want less of whatever, and of course, over noon to add on each, on each different EQ. I think that's really the basic way to do, and I... I can't think of a better way to do it. Maybe you can. Let me know in the comments. All right, guys. Rock on. Thanks again for visiting Rock Hard Riffs.